Good morning, VLM family, to another day of our Morning Mai. I pray today finds you adjusting well to our new normal, whatever that is, and for as long as it needs to be. Please pray with me. Gracious Lord, be with us as we take a break this morning and concentrate on the blessings you have bestowed on us. Help us to live safely and efficiently throughout these troubled times and beyond. Be with us all and give us strength to endure. In your name we pray. Amen. My name is Myrna Peterson, an active VLM Builders Club member since the mid-1980s, a volunteer cook at Camp Hiawatha for two summers, a former board member, a lover of family camp, and a promoter of all forms of outdoor ministry. I have four grown children now, with seven grandchildren and one on the way, but my children were privileged to grow up attending Camp Hiawatha and Camp Vermilion activities from an early age on. We all cherish our time spent praising God in our great Northwoods. Those of you who know me now probably never knew me when I was on two feet. 25 years ago now, I was in a serious car accident, which left me paralyzed from the neck down, from an incomplete fracture at C4, C5. My new mobility came in the form of a power wheelchair. At the time of my accident, I was a single mom with four very active teenagers, and I was employed as an elementary classroom educator. I was in inpatient therapy for seven months at Miller Dwan Hospital in Duluth, and then came home to my role as a mom to those four teenagers. As a result of a misdiagnosis of my spinal cord fusion, those first five years after I came home were compounded with severe pain. I'd like to talk a little bit today about how my physical and emotion, emotional pain has turned into a blessing how can that be, you ask? Well, it didn't happen right away. You see, to help camouflage that pain, my doctor prescribed increasingly large dosages of narcotic medication. Unfortunately, that did not stop the pain and left me in a very subdued, lethargic, mental state. These times were very stressful trying to be a supportive mom with a huge change in my physical abilities and a mental and emotional condition I had very little control of. God and I had several long talks throughout those sleepless nights and frustrating days. I longed for my life to be normal again and active at camp and all the activities at church that I was missing out of. My physical pain was the feeling of electricity running throughout my body from my chin to the ends of my fingers and toes 24 seven. I was very sensitive to any air or movement around me. That was helped a little by having my entire body, except my head, covered and the noise level was kept at a minimum. Can you imagine a household with four teenagers and their friends ever being quiet and free of motion? My four teenagers were my angels, though. They still encouraged their friends to come on evenings and weekends to spend time with me in our home. I kept praying that the pain would go away so that I could have part of my life back, but that didn't happen, and my talks with God became more intense and demanding. I was so fortunate to have such wonderful CNA par uh, professional caregivers, family members, teaching colleagues, neighbors, camp and church friends as additional angels. Many of my friends were pastors who would talk to me about people who learned to give, to live with chronic pain. They encouraged me to read meditations to overcome pain. Gradually, I began to realize that pain is physical and emotional discomfort, but suffering comes from our resistance to that pain. 
as Richard Rohr puts it, I started reading more about Johnny Erickson Tata and her story, reading about Job and other people in the Bible who suffered deep experiences with pain. I learned that in order to endure my pain, I needed to embrace it. I needed to grow deeper in my faith and trust and allow God to help me persevere through it. I was living in a isolation with my pain and letting that stop me from growing in my faith and trusting God to help me through the day and enjoying whatever part of that day I could. I was reminded of all the parables that Jesus used in teaching about how we can grow through circumstances. Like the tiny mustard seed growing into full maturity or seeds planted in different types of soil with different types of nurturing. What happens to seeds as they grow is behind the scenes, from seeds to sprouts, blooms to fullness. Then I learned that dealing with my pain was like those seeds. Growing behind the scenes, I realized that my physical and emotional pain became more tolerable. I began looking at my pain as a blessing in disguise instead of a curse. Dealing with this new awareness of my pain has helped my relationship with God, God grow exponentially. Yes, I still have that same electricity feeling from my chin to the tip of my toes and fingers. I still feel cold from my bones on the inside, but hot to touch on my skin. But I am free of medication, which did not decrease my physical pain level, but heightened my emotional pain. I know that through my suffering, I have a new appreciation for what Christ did for all of us on the cross. Every Holy Week, I have a renewed appreciation as I concentrate on my own journey to the cross and resurrection on Easter Sunday. During this current pandemic era, we all have our levels of pain and suffering to deal with. Maybe it's the loss of income, suffering from the virus itself, suffering from other illnesses, the loss of a loved one to death, divorce, or other separation anxieties. Pain is individual and real. How we react to it is also individual and real. I know that for me, when I compare my pain to what Christ endured, I am humbled. Yes, like Jesus, some moments I feel forsaken, but quickly see the light. God is there to take all of my pain and suffering away. I have learned that none of us are promised tomorrow here on earth. We must learn from our mistakes from yesterday and cherish every moment that we have here with family and friends today. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for listening today and help us escape for a few minutes about troubles that surround us. Help us to cherish every minute and look forward to the best which is yet to come. Help us to find a good from within to help those around us. And help us all to remember how great it is to be alive in these great North Woods. Hallelujah, Christ is risen indeed. Thank you for tuning in today and joining us again tomorrow for VLM's Morning My. Goodbye.